From what it seems, my man Endeavor got Hawks' clue that in four months the Liberation Army is going to attack Japan. So I need to find out how we're going to train, how we're going to deal with this, how we're going to infiltrate, and how strong we're going to get. And I think I mentioned this before, but I need you guys to let me know the order in the movies and, wit and when to watch them in terms of my hero. Because I'm going to start movie reactions real soon, so I want to get on this ASAP. I'm doing a couple other movies first, I can tell you that, but these are going to be on there real quick. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 5, Episodes 15 and 16. This one is called One Thing at a Time. The next one is called Long Time No See, Selkie. Very excited to see Selkie again. He was my dude during Sue's internship. I'm assuming with the work studies, maybe that's where we're going to be going. I'm very excited to see more of Endeavor's work study with Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku. Excited to see more Hawks. Excited to see how everything unfolds, how we get into My Villain Academy everything so without any further ado i gotta find out what happens remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching on the channel we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description like always for that if you guys want to support me and patreon it's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into it my Hero Academia, Season 5, Episodes 15 and 16. Let's hop into this. Let's do it. All right, here we go. We got Hawks dashing around already. This is about a typical Hawks intro. Oh, this is the mansion that I was wondering about last episode, where we saw the guy, we saw Sliden go, who I'm curious about him now, and we saw the guy with the laptop. Liberation Ideology, that's the League of Villains, so... This is the guy I've been seeing in the opening. Interesting. So he's playing his role good. But this seems to be like a council of villains. We have the League of Villains. And we have some extra people on it. Ooh. I wanted to see Dabby say something about NG Todoroki. That is true, they are students. Oh, really? With just a single feather? That's crazy! Okay, double crossing Hawks infiltration. By Tomura, by Shigaraki, Tenko Shimura. And so, is this before he gave that message to Endeavor in four months, hence why he gave that clue? Now we're back to when he picks up on this clue. He can't even walk around freely. And with his wings closed, he can't pick deduce the information on the vibrations. Before that, I'll send a signal. So before they make their move. This guy looks crazy. If you wear a trench coat like that, you either have a crazy quirk or you're so strong. I agree. I agree. We need to got stop these heroes from double crossing, you know? He's trying to see, that's one thing I like about Hawks, because I feel like they always say Hawks is too fast for his own good. And he was literally just saying the quickest and most efficient way would be everyone to surround this place right now, but he wasn't thinking of the long term. Henceforth, why the people who are hidden, the people who are really behind this could get away and really cause more and more issues down the line. So I, I really like this mindset coming out of Hawks right now. In case of failure, more manpower. That's what he heard last episode when he was, when he started running with them and like, Going ham. It seems as if our heroes, our students, I should say, are going to be getting a lot more responsibility than they should be. This is going to be crazy. To leave the students as insurance for if we fail. He's going to do his job. He's going to do whatever he can for the people and for the strength of these students. And it's a good thing. 
he's underestimating them. Good. Yes, it's a good thing Hawks came in. Good. He really wasn't interested in changing or training the next generation. But, but fucking Tokoyami is the one who changed his mind. Let's go, Tokoyami. Let's go. Look at all these work studies. Oh, my God. This is so sick. Everyone's getting this. Oh, my God. Fat on this goat. Camel Woods. Mount Lady. Oh, my God. Are these all the work studies? These are fucking sweet. I need an individual episode with every single one. Every single one. Come on. We even got the other schools. Mirio Shiketsu High. I love that we're showing the entire next generation, everyone who's working. You just need some sort of grasp on the situation and your training needs. I've developed, yeah, a secondary subset of my quirk. I didn't think he was going to go into this, yeah. But he is, and he's muttering. And Baku goes annoyed. He has it all mathed out in terms of percentages. Oh my god, this guy won't stop! Oh my god, talk about a self critique. Oh, I wonder if he's going to feel like he doesn't want to train him because I'm curious about that. I thought maybe he would in potential and potentially comparing him to all might not want to train him and potentially having someone take a spot for how long he wanted to train and become number one. But he's not coming at this petty at all. He's I what from what feels like kind of complimenting say, oh, so you're one of us who struggled and keeps persisting through no matter how hard and impossible it seems you continue to push through it seems to be some sort of respect in which i'm shocked by that shouts out endeavor but okay when you say i don't know what i can't do i want to know what i can't do that's what i came here to find out oh yeah he's gone through and learned a lot over these years as these pictures can show us over, I shouldn't say years, over the seasons. It's only been the still first years. Came to find out what I still need. And he wouldn't get this any... I mean, he'd get this the best by seeing Endeavor, so... Oh! <laughs> that is a good reason, but... All my... He's telling him how it is. At the end of the day, he truthfully, you know, it's it's a it's a harsh reality. It's kind of tough love. I mean, he still definitely respects you as a hero, but it's gonna be hard for him to truly forgive everything that happened. Years and years and years of pent up anger and resentment, you know. It's going to be a long road, my man, but if anyone's going to keep fighting through it and persist, it's going to be you. Good. But that also means he's not going to hold them back at all. He's going to he's going to expect them to keep the, you know, hold their weight. Mm. Ooh. That's a good test for them to be able to pass and he's already out speak of the devil so fast. Imagine you're just a hit and run, or you're just doing petty theft, and all of a sudden endeavors after you. God damn, there's nothing you could do about that. But that's one of the things All Might was saying about how Bakugo can definitely learn because of how similar their quirk is, you know? Hahaha. <laughs> Hey, you guys are going to need to be on your A game, Dash. We'll catch up later. This man is going to be... He's like Hawks. You guys are going to be catching up the whole time. 
For a rookie, anyway. Uh-huh. That is a valid point. This isn't a class. This is real life. Real heroics. You'll lose someone's life. Oh my god. Talk about a person. Talk about a perfect example. I'm telling you. This is, reminds me so much of Hunter Hunter training, you know? And I love Hunter Hunter training. Like, you have the actual things you need to work on. And once you have those down to where you can do them without thinking, then you can work on the next stage and, ah. Uh... That's exactly what they would do in Hunter Hunter 2. That's how you can do it without thinking. So it's second language. That is true. That's a valid point. I never would have thought about like that in terms of connecting the dots with her, you know, your skills and your abilities. This shot right here takes that. Mm, I love it. In the best environment possible. This is where you guys are gonna learn that. <laughs> in the in the midst of shit right now. This is where we're gonna do it. Plus Ultra. Okay. One thing at a time. Wasn't was that the title of this episode? I'm pretty sure. Something like that. It was. I like it. Alright, we are in the next episode, episode 16. This one's called Long Time No See Selkie. Oh man, that's what I'm saying. I want an individual episode with every single one. I want to see all the heroes, quirks, everything. Oh, I love them at Ryukyu too. Wait, I wonder if Sue is at Ryukyu, then why does it say Long Time No See Selkie? Does Ochako have a new outfit? I wonder what, what the, like, the ball gauntlets do. It's not much, but it's a welcome party. Is Ryukyu's agency all women? Or at least it's just this just a little girl slumber party kind of night? Damn, that look good. That little cake. Ooh, look at Ryukyu on that billboard. She's looking good. The illegal drug trigger. Damn. Imagine being off that trigger. Oh, trigger itself? It's similar to that? I wonder if that's going to be the topic of this episode. Trigger and stopping its distribution. This is where we're going to see Soki protecting the Japan's ports. Ooh, this, that's got to be Trigger. He's literally juicing himself up right now. What does he blow out steam? For making a getaway? Smoke, specifically. That's a honestly a good quirk. Probably a lot less without the Trigger, though. That'd be so disorienting. Trying to... <laughs> Talk about a pun. And then we might this is where Sue and uh Ochako might come and help request a team up with whose team I love seeing Sue and Selkie together this this song that they're playing right now is a badass fucking song dude yeah Sue's like that's my old dog Or should I say, Selkie's my old seal? No hesitation from Ryukyu, I appreciate it. That's a throwback right there. It must be dope making connections, you know? In the hero agency, becoming friends, being able to request team-ups, you know? Knowing you can rely on other people. Be pretty dope. 
Like, I'm glad a lot of the heroes aren't like One Punch Man heroes where they're all petty, and greedy, only care about them. Like, a good amount of heroes I've seen so far really do care about doing good shit. It really does feel good. Is this what we're doing? I thought we'd be searching for Trigger. We're playing beach volleyball. Okay. Oh, that would actually be dope. Because she has like super hearing, right? But can she breathe underwater? It's really looking like it. I know Sue can. They're having a barbecue. They did volleyball, went snorkeling, having a barbecue with some good food. Man. Meanwhile, they're up here having cocktails on the, on the shore. See, this is what makes me feel like with this happiness, I really feel like the rest of the season and season six are going to be so horribly dark. Yeah, Nejire can fly as well with her energy propulsors. We're searching from the sea. We got our peeps searching from the sky. Let's look out for some trigger ships. Can I see her transform into a dragon? Oh, okay. We got to saw like a little bit of it when she did in season four. We're talking like a big dragon, like she's a dragon. <laughs> That's so dope. Okay, tag team. Now we know if anyone's dashing through the water, it's Selkie. That man, whew. Oh, here we go. Not only have they been found, but they've been found from underwater. So I wonder if the smoke screen is still going to do them good. Sirius is her name. I might have to write that down. And theoretically, they should, even if they do a smoke screen, they shouldn't be able to get away as long as we have a, a high perspective bird's eye view. Man, it's so ready to just inject himself. Probably, ooh, I can't even picture how that feels. That's what I was saying, and now that there's the smoke screen, though, we can come from underwater. And the smoke screen is pretty much... Actually, it's working against them now that they can't see Selkie and Sue have infiltrated. And in terms of a one-on-one -on -one fight, I don't think anyone's taking Selkie. At least anyone here. That man is brolic. Oh, that's such a cool way to look at it, to animate it. Even in darkness, you can still see. Ooh, he's quick, too. Not even letting him do the trigger. Is that the, the unidentified ship in the green tarp the whole time? It was a water boat, or a water plane, a boat plane, whatever those things are called. Those things are sick. I've always wanted to ride one. You know what this ship needs? What is that, Sirius? I was literally just going to say it needs a cannon. But okay, this is an improvised one. Here we go. She can make it weightless, too. She could really just go in the direction at such a fast speed. <laughs> Depend oh my god. Her new outfit is dope. Shout out to the grapple gauntlets. Okay, Uraraga. Gunhead martial arts. Float them up. <laughs> oh, she could put her like quirk into her martial arts too. Beautiful. Are you going to be able to fly a plane? That's what I was saying. It would definitely exceed her limits, though. Are you giving up? Or are you going to go beyond plus ultra? <laughs> no hesitation. Full charge. Output 90. <laughs> We're just floating. That's crazy. And then Ryukyu can physically land us. Nice and safely. Talk about a job well done. Hell yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. I need an episode like this. Oh, she's obviously throwing up. That was super heavy. I need an episode like this with every agency, every work study, every hero. Oh, let's get the Kemwe Woods, Mount Lady one. Let's get all of them. And then they did have another barbecue fish little awesome see it feels like this episode 
set up a whole side story that they could come up with. Now we're going to fucking Europe. We're going to Altheon. We're going to deal with the whole trigger thing going on. They could really have a whole side movie about that. I would watch the shit out of that. I agree. That's exactly what it is. A momentary piece. I know shit's going to be getting real crazy real soon. But I'm glad I got this to enjoy. Alright, it seems like we have an after credit scene. Oh no, this is Trigger. This is, uh, this is in Europe. Who the fuck is this Smurf King? The Salvation of Humanity? This has to be with Trigger, right? This has nothing to do with the liberation what the hell like i said this show is so good about setting things up like i would totally watch a side movie or a side series about a separate agency or a separate team of heroes going to europe and like if they did an mcu except with my hero like a my hero cu you know i would watch anything that they do you know whether it be super dark super fun upbeat you know like i just love seeing the creativity and the quirks the teamwork the the amount of quirks, the fighting, the, the you know, the happy-go-luckiness, I love it. But the first episode, one thing at a time, I loved Endeavor's teaching perspective and how different he was. Also, he is going into teaching them and how it would it probably wouldn't have gone this hard in teaching them had he not realized that these kids literally may be our last hope how, if they fail against this liberation army. So I like how he's going into this hard and I appreciate that. Pause, you guys know what I meant. I didn't, hey yo, come on. But I love how when he was teaching, he said, let's not try to stack everything up on top in, term, in terms of on top of each other. Let's do this parallel processing like he was talking but Deku was trying to do it all at one time but he can do it just you need to have it in the background when you're doing it like when you're driving it is a number of parallel processing at the same time but you do do one at a time you work on you, you work on using the gas pedal until you're proficient with that or you don't need to think of that then you add in the turning then you add in this then you add in that until you're able to proficiently do all of those at the exact same time without thinking about it and so I like that that analogy and aspect on the training and on the using their quirks and their abilities i thoroughly enjoy that comes from a different perspective that's all you need sometimes is a different set of eyes and a different you know outside you know outside perspective like i'm saying and i i truly appreciate that and i like how deku is getting things for his personal quirk bakugo is hitting getting things for his personal quirk and so is todoroki and endeavor really did get humbled by todoroki saying how even though he feels like the relationship is getting a little better he really only came here because he admires All Might, and this is the number, this is the best way to become like All Might. And so that really did humble Endeavor a little bit. So this is, this is going to be interesting. I'm excited. But if they ever do anything where they do a side movie, side series on any of these other work studies, I am down to watch any of them. I really am glad, especially because the first internship that we got like a true side long look at was Sue and Selkie, that they brought Sue and Selkie back, and they tied in Ryukyu, Ochako, and Nejire into that as well. It just, it fit perfectly. I thoroughly enjoy that. So shouts out them, shouts out that. God damn, this shit is good. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, check out that Patreon. Early access or full length. Four episodes ahead. It's a fun time. Uh, other than that, don't forget to drink some water. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.